Have you ever wondered what creature could possibly create that deafening sound on a peaceful summer evening? Yes, that rhythmic hum, that persistent drone that seems to come from nowhere and everywhere all at once, that is the music of the cicadas. Cicadas are the unseen loudspeakers of nature broadcasting their symphony far and wide. They are an orchestra of millions, each individual contributing to a collective sound that can reach an astonishing 100 decibels. That's as loud as a motorcycle, a chainsaw, or even a rock concert. Deafening indeed. Our planet is home to more than 3,000 species of cicadas, and they are found on every continent except Chile, Antarctica. From the dense forests of the Amazon to the sprawling deserts of Africa, from the bustling cities of Asia to the tranquil suburbs of Europe, these tiny musicians leave their unmistakable mark. Each species of cicada sings a unique song, a signature melody that sets it apart from the rest. Some produce a high-pitched whine, while others create a low, pulsating drone. There are even those that sound like a sizzling frying pan or a squeaky door hinge. All these different tunes blend together creating a symphony of sounds that fills the air. The cicada's music is more than just noise, it's a call, a signal, a message. It's a way of communicating, of expressing their needs and desires. It's a language that we humans may not fully understand, but one that is as complex and intricate as any we have created. So the next time you find yourself on a warm summer evening, enveloped in the sonic blanket of the cicada's song, remember, you are not just hearing noise. You are listening to one of nature's most remarkable concerts, a performance millions of years in the making. Now that you've got a taste of their symphony, it's time to meet the musicians. Every symphony starts with a single note, and in the case of cicadas, it starts underground. In the mysterious depths of the earth, a new life is born. The humble cicada nymph starts its journey, a journey that will take it from the soil's embrace to the vibrant world above ground. This is where our symphony begins, not with a conductor's baton, but with the quiet munching of a nymph on a tree root. The nymph stage of a cicada is one of patience and endurance. It's a period of growth, a time for nurturing the music that will eventually fill the air. Underneath the earth, these nymphs lead a subterranean existence, burrowing through the soil and feeding on the sap from tree roots. They do this for a significant portion of their lives, years that can stretch into the teens or even longer. This underground life might seem monotonous but it is crucial. It's a period of preparation, a time for these tiny musicians to ready themselves for their grand performance. They feed and grow, their bodies slowly transforming, readying for their emergence into the world above. Then, after years of living in darkness, the cicadas sense the time is right. They begin their ascent, crawling their way up from their earthen homes towards the surface. It's a slow and laborious journey but one that is vital for their survival. They are driven by an instinct as old as time, a biological clock that has been ticking since their birth. And then, after years of waiting, the earth opens and the cicadas emerge. They leave their nymph shells behind, stepping into the sunlight as adults for the first time. It's a moment of transformation, a metamorphosis that signals the start of a new chapter. After years of living in darkness, it's time for them to emerge and see the world. With their emergence the stage is set, the orchestra is ready, and the symphony of cicadas is about to begin. Imagine spending years in solitude only to emerge and find a grand stage awaiting you. This is the reality for our noisy neighbors, the cicadas. As the curtain rises on the third act of our story, the cicadas begin their transformation. After years spent underground they surface shedding their nymphal exoskeletons in a process called molting. This is a moment of rebirth and metamorphosis, a transition from a life spent in darkness to one that's about to be filled with sound and light. As adults the cicadas are ready to take center stage. The males, the maestros of this grand concert, are equipped with a unique instrument known as timbals. These are paired structures located on their abdomen. By contracting their muscles, they flex these timbals inwards and outwards, producing a series of rapid clicks. When these clicks blend together, they form the distinctive song of the cicada, a song that can reach volumes louder than a rock concert. But the males don't perform this concert for their own amusement. Each song is a serenade, a call to the females. Each species of cicada has its own unique song, ensuring that females of the same species will respond. It's a complex form of communication, a language of love spoken in the key of nature. The females, the audience in this grand concert, respond by flicking their wings, a subtle yet effective way of demonstrating their interest. It's a dance of courtship, a rhythm of life that has been played out for millions of years. 
And as the cicada's concert reaches its crescendo, the cycle of life continues. The females lay their eggs, and as they hatch, the nymphs burrow into the ground, disappearing beneath the surface until it's their time to emerge and perform their own grand concert. With the concert at its peak, it's time for the next generation to take over. This cycle, this symphony of life, is a testimony to the enduring rhythm of nature. It's a concert we're privileged to witness, a performance by nature's noisy neighbors, the cicadas. Like every good show, the cicadas concert must come to an end, but not before ensuring the show goes on. The encore of this grand spectacle is as fascinating as the concert itself, featuring the life-affirming process of mating and egg-laying. Once the males have serenaded their female counterparts with their melodious symphony, the magic of life begins. The female cicadas, now wooed and willing, allow the males to transfer their sperm. This process is unique and peculiar. For cicadas are not like most insects. The male cicada has a specialized organ that directly transfers the sperm into the female. Once the transfer is done, the females set off on the next leg of their journey. The next act in this encore is the laying of eggs. The female cicadas lay their eggs in a rather unusual place, inside the twigs of trees. Using a saw-like organ known as an ovipositor, they cut slits into the twigs and deposit their eggs. Each female can lay hundreds of eggs ensuring a sizable audience for the next concert. But the show isn't over yet. The finale of the encore is the hatching of these eggs. After six to ten weeks the tiny nymphs emerge from their eggs. These miniature versions of their parents drop to the ground, burrow into the soil, and start their long wait for their time to shine. They will spend the next several years underground, feeding on tree roots and slowly growing, and when the time is right they will emerge, molt, and take their place on the stage. They will fill the air with their music, find a mate, and ensure that the next generation of cicadas is ready to carry on the tradition. And thus, the cycle continues, ensuring the symphony never really ends. The encore of the cicadas is a testament to the unending cycle of life, a cycle that is as beautiful and fascinating as the concert that precedes it. The cicadas concert may end but the encore ensures that the music never really stops. The cicadas symphony doesn't just echo through the trees, but it also leaves a lasting impact on the environment. Imagine a world without these unseen loudspeakers. Their absence would be more than a mere hush in the summer twilight, it would disrupt the harmony of the ecosystem. You see, cicadas are not just performers, they are key players in the grand theater of nature. Their bodies, both alive and post-mortem, contribute significantly to nutrient cycling. As they emerge from the ground they bring up vital minerals from the soil. When they die their bodies decompose enriching the earth and providing sustenance for a variety of organisms. But their role doesn't end there. Cicadas also serve as a bountiful feast for a wide variety of species. Birds, small mammals, reptiles and even other insects partake in this cicada banquet. Their emergence is a time of plenty, a time when predators can feast and nourish their young. Beyond their ecological importance cicadas also influence human culture, inspiring music, literature and art with their distinct sound and life cycle. Their symphony is a testament to the beauty of nature, a reminder of the intricate web of life that connects us all. The cicadas with their relentless rhythm, remind us of the beautiful complexities of nature. Nature's symphony, led by cicadas, is not just a summer serenade but a testament to the powerful rhythm of life. Their song, echoing through the ages, tells a story of survival, endurance, and the intricate dance of nature. It's a reminder that we're part of this grand concert too, each one of us playing our own unique part. So next time you hear the cicadas sing, remember, you're listening to the oldest story ever told. If you enjoyed the video please consider liking and subscribing as it helps our channel grow and continue to create new and interesting content. We encourage you to express your thoughts on the video in the comments and share our content with others.